The 2024 Intermountain Health Ironman 70.3 competition has come and gone in St. George with a repeat winner in the men's field. Sam Long broke records on this course, setting a new record for best time of 3 hours, 39 minutes, and 17 seconds, as well as fastest bike time of the men's professional field with 1 hour, 59 minutes, and 57 seconds. Long had the fastest transition time on Saturday as well, at 1 minute and 2 seconds in the second transition from bike to run. Long explains his race to announcer Colleen Rue. The full day, pretty good swim start, you know, pretty hard at the start, of course, and a lot of battling going on. Uh, you know, sometimes it feels like you're drowning a little bit, but uh, found myself in good position, and then the swim settled down, and the back half was pretty easy, and exited with a, a reasonable gap. I thought I'd be a little closer, but still reasonable, and then the, the age groupers were awesome cheering me on, and got out on the bike, and... Yeah, the bike was uh, fast and ferocious and hard, and uh, everyone was riding well, and uh, I mean, I guess I was riding the best. And Paula Finley from Canada won the women's professional field with a time of 4 hours, 9 minutes, and 27 seconds. This was her second victory through five appearances in St. George, the first being in 2018. Uh, it was good. It was a hard race, and uh, the swim was actually quite comfortable, and I came out with the leaders, so that was like box checked, and then I really wanted to break away on the bike, so I used the hills just kind of to my advantage, and that's what I like best is climbing, so um, yeah, it was nice to just like kind of run without fear, and I still pushed hard, but it wasn't like I was, um, you know, on the red line or anything, so I could kind of enjoy the run a little bit, and yeah, this course is so, so challenging, so much elevation gain. I kept looking at my watch and seeing my meters gained, and I was like, wow, this is like climbing a mountain. But, uh, this competition had 2,000 volunteers sign up to hand out food and water, guide the competitors, and even just cheer them on. We're uh, cheering. Yeah? Cheer yeah. on the bikers. And how are you guys going to pass the time until they get here? Cook steaks. Can we make Cook some steaks. Food? Steaks. Eat some food. It's pretty cool. Have some Good talks. Uh, it's, no. it's for football. football, football, football. Well, it's for our fundraising. For yeah. money. Very nice. Do you guys have other teammates around? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we have some down there at the bike station. So I'm officially called a pointer. I am directing the runners which way to go at this spot in the route. They have two choices on the first time around. They go up one way and then the second time they'll pass through again and they go to the finish line. So. 45 male pros and 15 female pros finished this race fast enough after the race winners to earn points towards Ironman Pro Series standings. From the 2024 Ironman in St. George, I'm Kelsey Lundstedt reporting for CEC Television.